In this video, let's look at various source code formatting options which are present in Java. If you look at this piece of code, uh, this is not formatted. So you look at this, this code is not tabbed in. Similarly, the code in here is not tabbed in. Uh, the easiest way if you want to use the default formatting settings which are present in Eclipse is just go to right click and do a source and format. The uh, sh keyboard shortcut is Control shift f or you can do source format, right click source format and you'd see that the entire code is formatted. So this is the easiest way you can uh, do source code formatting in Eclipse. If you want to really configure how uh, the different source code formattings work, I mean how a particular construct is, uh, is formatted, for example, some people prefer having the open brace on the next line rather than having it here. So things like that can be customized in Eclipse. If you're using win uh, Windows, go to Windows Preferences or if I'm using Mac, I can go to Eclipse Preferences and you can search for format. So you can go to Java code style and go to formatter and here you can actually customize the entire stuff about how you would want to format a particular thing. So I can go and do an edit. Once you click edit, you can now actually uh, say how the entire formatting has to happen. So now let's say I want to change how the braces would happen. So if I want to position for a class declaration on the next line, you'd see that all the interfaces and you'd see even the class example, the open brace goes to the next line. And similarly, I mean, I, I think uh, it, the convention would be to use next line everywhere once I start using next line in one place. So you can either make everything, you can make everything next line so that all the formattings would have open brace on the next line. As soon as I do a control shift F, I would have the uh, for, uh, code formatted with an open brace on the next line. So that's uh, about braces. The, there are a lot of other things that you can control with your formatting. One of them is white space. You can say where you want white space to appear. Do you want white space between variable declarations? Do you want in control statements? How do you want to app how do you want white space to appear? How do you want white space to appear in expressions? So you can con you can uh, de I mean you can tell Eclipse what are the kind of configurations that you would want in terms of white space and also you can configure where you'd want the blank lines to be present. The other important feature is you can even control like uh, where a new line appears. If I say a new line before else if, it would put else if on the next line. You can see that in here. So it would become something of this kind. If I uncheck this, you would see that else if is on the same line as the closing place. So you can control even that stuff in here. And the other stuff you can control is how the formatting of the Java doc comment happens. So basically, Eclipse offers you features that would allow you to format everything which is present inside. So, I mean, any piece of source code that you'd want, if you want to adhere to a particular con a rule, then you can configure it in here. And the good thing is, as soon as you press Control Shift F, the formatting happens automatically. So, I uh, like what we are doing here is trying to change a built-in profile. The easiest way uh, to change this would have been to create a new profile. I'm creating a new profile. I would say I'll call it Ritu's Customized. I'm saying OK. And now I can edit Ritu's Customized and I can put in braces. Let's say I want braces to always appear on the next line. I would change everything across to next line. And I can press apply and go back. And now you, I'm doing a control shift F again now. If you see the formatting, it changes to using open brace on the next line. So everywhere now you look at it, it uses open brace on a line of its own. So the opening brace is always on a line of its own. So these are the different formatting settings which are present in Eclipse. As a, a quick tip, I like let's talk about something called save actions so right now the way we are doing the formatting is as soon as I uh, like if I if this line is unformatted and I press Control s 
or you save the file nothing would happen you have to explicitly use control shift F or control shift F to format the code if you are lazy like me and you don't want to press control shift F there is an option which Eclipse provides that's called save actions you can if you're using Windows it's in Windows preferences Eclipse preferences if you're on Mac you can type in save and you would see save actions and in save actions one of the things is format source code so the thing about save actions is they get executed each time you do a save so let's say I leave this code unformatted I'm leaving this code unformatted now I'm pressing control s to save the file so you'd see that the code automatically gets formatted so you'd see that the code automatically gets formatted according to the formatting settings that we have created this is the uh, beautiful thing about save actions so save actions is another important feature in Eclipse save actions uh, you c in combination with formatting it's a beautiful tool because uh, from now on I don't really need to worry about formatting I type the code in the way I would want and Eclipse would take care of formatting so this is a beautiful feature in Eclipse uh, formatter in combination with save actions there you go that's formatting source code in Eclipse this video is part of a series of videos discussing various features in Eclipse different shortcuts and also tips to improve your productivity if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye